This is a really old video back in late March. Uh, I wanted to upload it just to free some space on my console. A lot of things have changed since then, but anyway, here it is. Hi everybody, this is Darkblade X, X at Dark Enforcers, aka Black Hawk, Division Leader for DCUO. What's up? What's up DCUO fans? What's up DE fans? I'm actually in Fallout 4 right now. I'm pretty much just showing off my settlement. Uh, one of the settlements I built. Now, this isn't the... Actually, I guess this could be the best settlement I built. I think I have another one that's better than this one, but this was probably the most advanced settlement I built. By advanced, I mean I'm not using like basic components to build. I'm using like concrete and shit like that, you know. Anyway. I just picked this game up. Like this game's been out for a few months now. It's it's now April. The game's been out since I think November. I've just now started playing it, so I know I'm far behind compared to most people, but I just wanted to come out here and show what I have in progress. Probably when I'm done, I'll make another video. But for right now, this is just it in progress. Now, this video is just uh, showing you all the hits and trips I learned to, like, uh, building your settlements that I've learned through trial and error. Some of these tips uh, you can pick up from just watching videos on YouTube. Um, most of the stuff I've just figured out on my own, although some I did watch on YouTube or I read online. But for the most part, most of the stuff is stuff I just found to trial and error myself. Anyway, this is my main character. He is dressed to look like Captain America, uh, mostly because of the uh, star in his chest. So I was like, okay, we're rocking that. So I tried to get a look that's as close to Captain America as possible. Unfortunately, I can't figure out how to paint my armor. You can only like buy painted armor. Like, you can't actually paint it yourself, I don't think. Or at least I haven't gotten that far in the game. Then again, there's perks I'm missing, so that might be it too. Anywho. So I've just been rocking uh, this character. I've been rocking like, uh, not that. I've been rocking uh, melee weapons for the most part. Like this. A lot of people don't like melee weapons, but melee weapons are actually some of the strongest weapons in the game. Uh, more on that stuff over there later. Like for instance, if I run up to something and then swing, that's a regular swing, my bad. If I run up to something and then swing, that's a one hit kill right there. On pretty much everything in the game. Maybe I have to do that twice. Maybe. On bosses, loosely twice. But that's like a one hit kill and everything. And that's just a regular swing. If I add a run and power attack swing, then yeah. Also, there's vats. If I run up to something and then hit vats, that's a guaranteed hit. That's pretty much always a kill move. So yeah, I like melee weapons a lot. A lot more than everything else. Alright, anyway, over here, this is my guard post tower. I got one right here because I have my entrance here. I couldn't find gates, so I'm rocking the raider gates, although I'm going to get some more of those picket fences magazines, try to find those, and see if I can get regular gates. Like the ones that are at the other side of this place. But yeah, you probably saw this and said, what the hell is that? Oh yeah, I, I'm not gonna Scroll, like wish show wish how to put that up there. I'm just gonna tell you because it's, it's actually real simple. What you do is you just build platforms that are high in the air, place the stuff on top of those platforms, and then get rid of the platforms, and those stay up there. Another thing you can use is just use uh, regular floor mats, like yeah, like like those welcome mats. So, yeah, just use those. Stack those on top of each other, but spread out a little bit, so that it's like they're lifting up each other, but they're spread out, so you get some like, distance on it. And you can just use those too. Place those up there. Because anything that's on top of that mat gets lifted up when you lift up the mat, so yeah, that's one thing you can do. But yeah, I did myself basic, I just built like platforms, put myself up there, get rid of the platforms. Alright, so that's one thing I did. Uh, now let's go back to that gun real quick so I can show you something. Uh, there we go. Alright, up here I have another tower. Uh, you can see that I don't need to zoom in like I was about to right here. You can see that one up there. I have a third tower. You can't see it from this side, but he's facing outwards. Away from the place. He's like pretty much right next to that light. He's facing away from it though. I know what you're thinking, what is that thing there in the sky? I'll show you that later. And then the last one is right over here. You should be able to see it right up there. The last guard tower. So I got three towers up there, and then I have 
one over there, which I just showed you. Alright. So, um, this is just a basic house. This is a uh, pre-made one, so I don't take any credit on this stuff. I added a door and I added the steps there, that's about it. <laughs> okay, inside is... I just want like a place people could just hang out and entertain, stuff like that, so... I don't got all the balls yet, but I'm gonna find those. I put the cue ball up there, I got some pull sticks over there, we got chairs, we got a jukebox up here, we got power, you know. I feel like I'm doing something. I put a little guardrail so you can't just fall down here by accident. We got TV working, we got couches and stuff. We got, just for no damn reason, I put the disco light up there. <laughs> Alright, so we got lawn chairs, because some people, people love to sit in solos instead of sitting in sofas. So I got a lot of those around here. Alright. Now here comes the houses that people actually sleep in. I'm not gonna uh, leave these here. I'm gonna actually upgrade these to uh, one of the buildings I made. I'm gonna upgrade these, but for now I'm just marking the basic stuff because I just need the people here. And I just want to give them a place to sleep in. So basic here, I got two beds here because I only need to have two people in that house. The other houses are full to the brim. You know, I got like, you know, the seven beds downstairs. Then you go upstairs. I got no rails here because who cares. And <laughs> then I got two beds here and that's it. I, I was going to put a bed on the awnings because that, that's just too, like, I, I, I can't even be that ghetto. <laughs> put the bed outside. Nah. So, yeah, same with this place. Uh, I got my little floor mat here, but that's for me. Why is that for me? Because on this bed is one of my lovers, and then my other <laughs> lover is on this bed, so <laughs> I sleep right here in the middle. Uh, I don't know why I did it like that, it's just that, I guess in the back of my head, I, I didn't want to like sleep on a bed and be away from somebody, <laughs> and be like, oh, so you favor this person more, you favor that person more, and I'm like, yeah, okay, that's gonna happen, yeah. Anyway. Okay, so this place I made from scratch myself. Uh, as you can see, it has foundation on it that I made myself. Inside, this is just all of my like uh, arts and crafts stuff. Pretty much everything here. I got weapons, to cooking, to chems, to armor. Power station's gonna go back here once I get the perk. But for right now, I don't. Although I could probably just pick it up from a different place and move it here. I don't know if that works that way. I think I gotta do something else for it to work that way, but oh well. I added a door, because this is like a craft room, so I added like the metal door onto it. This one is a pre-made place. You can always tell a pre-made place by two things. The floor, which you can't create yourself, and the roof, which has no holes in it. If these don't see a single hole or gap, that's a pre-made place that was not made by a player. Unless the new DLC takes care of that and adds something else in it that I don't know about. Like right now, I'm, I'm not rocking the... um. I'm trying to DLC. I don't have that yet. So, maybe the new DLC has something about that. I don't know. Anyway, I... I put two of these things there just so he can walk around. <laughs> Instead of just staying at one of them. He walks around now. He goes from that one to this one. After, like, hours. <laughs> but, yeah. As you can see, I got some of these doubles sided. Because, like I said, there's a cliff there. No one's jumping in here. From there, I'll be damned if someone gets over just by going up the mountain top and just jumping down. So where I need to, I got myself double stacked. I need Out to. Out here, you gotta take things one day at a time. Sure I do. I got everybody dressed up for their job out here. The scrappers are dressed like mechanics. The doctors are dressed like doctors. The field hands are dressed like well, farmers. So they're wearing farmer hand clothes. And yeah. That work to do. Everybody's wearing okay. far hand clothes except for one person, which I just decided you can keep your stuff. Yeah. I just said, yeah, you can keep your stuff. That's good. Alright. I haven't done too much. I added a uh, terminal here so I control the turrets and all the spotlights that I, I'll show you later. Up here is my guard tower. Um, well, one of them besides the driving one. I'm gonna get, probably get rid of, like, where those steps are on, are on this way. I'm probably gonna get rid of all that, but I put it up here for now because I was actually going to add a 
third doorway to this place. Like, I, at one point, I did have three doorways. Um, a lot of people that weren't part of my settlement kept coming into my settlement. Like, the Minutemen, or the, um, Brotherhood of the Steel just walking in here, just to walk in here. And they would all, like, stop at this gate under this, uh, guard tower. So I decided maybe I should make that a gate. So they all keep walking into there and won't walk around. <laughs> so I opened that up and put a gate here. And I put a guard tower here. Eventually, I closed that gate off, and I never got rid of the guard tower. I'm probably going to get rid of it now. Anyway, so I got the spotlights down there just shine down. Got the turrets at the top. Got heavy turrets. Then I got the lasers up top. You see, the one of the lasers, the heavy laser, the other ones are just regular lasers. Pretty OP, I think. Then I got. If it's a regular turret, it's all heavy. I don't have like the basic basic turret. Everything is like a heavy turret. These things take out things with quickness. Got a little uh, shiring thing up here, just because I don't. I want shit to pop off. Although I'm going to get remove this because when it goes off, everybody comes around next to it. I don't want everybody up here under guard tower. I'd rather have it down there so people can like get together. Like, if something actually happens and they break in here, everyone's gonna crowd together to fight. I don't want this to be the area they do it in. So I'm gonna eventually get rid of that. Actually, uh, I think I'll just do it now. Well, nah, I'll get rid of it later. Anyway, so I got my tower up here. I got people dressed up as, uh, Raider Guards, uh, and I also have them dressed up as, like, Minutemen Guards. Like, this is one of my Min Minutemen Guards. And this is, I, I guess I, I could say a raider, it's cage armor. She's a guard, she has that light on her head that turns on red. I love it. Now this is my gauntlet over here. Not the same gauntlet that's at my other place, that's a legit gauntlet, where you have to walk the gauntlet just to come into my base. Like, if that shit doesn't pass out, uh, you're dead. Like, the other place is so, so OP that if a, like, army of Deathclaws tried to rush the gates, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't bet an eye, like, an eye. I would, like, take off all my gear and just stand at the doorway and just say, hey, I don't got a gun or weapon, come at me. <laughs> and none of them would make it. That's how OP the gauntlet is in my other place. But, anyway, I got heavy turns, and I do have a heavy laser up there. Look at that bad boy. Whoo! Then I have spotlights in here too, so that I can see everything, although they kill it so damn fast that I don't get a chance to see shit. Oh well. So this is just one of my places here. Now I have to show you one of the newer things that I've uh, put together. Um, I have what you could say a power plant here. Before we get to that power plant, uh, and the other thing I want to show you, like the major thing I want to show, I'm going to show you, uh, that line that you saw on the building top. Wish a buckethead would show up. I'd rip his legs clean off. They're gonna show up. We get attacked daily. Which is not as fun as you'd think it'd be, because the turrets kill every single damn thing, so I don't get to actually have any fun. That's one of the problems here. If you, you're too well defended, you don't have any fun. Yeah. But at least no one's dying, so I guess that's good. Alright, so anyway, you guys saw that line up there earlier, I think. Um, first thing, what the hell is that line? Or maybe you didn't see it earlier. Now you're just saying it. That line is connected to what I call the last resorts. <laughs> like, if for some odd reason you can get past those turns, which you should not be able to, I'm going to assume that you have full health and full armor and all that good stuff. You're not going to if you get past it. You're going to be fucked up. But I'm going to just pretend that you have full mirror and shit. That line and shit is connected to what I call death from above. Dark out. Maybe we should find a place to bed down for the night. There are four heavy laser turrets and four spotlights up there. Why are there spotlights? Uh, yeah. Spotlights can't reach the ground. It's too fucking low, but... I put them up there anyway, just because I want to shine the turrets. Yeah, I'm weird like that. Anyway, so they're up there. They're they're shoot death, and they have such a long range and reach. No it's ridiculous. Those turrets shoot way, way beyond my settlement. 
which I thought is just fucking weird. Like, I thought there was Brotherhood, because I didn't expect the Minutemen to have those type of lasers, so I thought that was fucking Brotherhood. Um, aiming at these guys that were trying to hurt me. And then I looked to...